Are you thinking about getting a big drum set, a lot of pieces? Well, they sure look impressive. I mean, you look at a lot of big names out there, and they're using a lot of drums. I mean, it, it just seems like you got to have a lot of pieces or else you're just not legit. But, uh, well, I submit Buddy Rich. He was a four-piece, yeah, yeah, five-piece, right? Except that the second floor tom was a drink holder, towel holder. I got this drum set in 1992, and I would like to submit this thing as a, an argument in favor of a four-piece drum set, or less. Three, two, it's, you know, it's magnificent. It's beautiful. But what I ended up doing with it usually over the years was setting it up as a four or five piece using a variety of different drum sizes. And then of course I settled on a favorite configuration. That was the way I used it for decades. So what's the point of getting this huge drum set? Is that my finger? Let's hear what they sound like. I mean, why not? We're here, you know, through the board. And I don't have enough mics to put two mics on each drum. So I'm miking the heads only with a couple of condenser overheads, SM91 in the bass drum. I don't know. I mean, that's another drawback. Many hundreds of years ago, I recorded at a studio that was called Santa Barbara Sound. I believe it's called Sound Design now. But I had a 12-piece Neil Peart simulated Ludwig drum set. That engineer asked me, which pieces do you actually use? And I, of course, I think I was 19 or 20, I said, I use all of them in every song, which was true. 